in speech events where we use yan not there is a main activity that is oral activity and that is very basic activity in our social life we call it conversation and interestingly you will know in this module that conversation also has structure if you call it a yanra there is controversy over its status as yanra however some some yanra analysts they call it a yanra okay now we get access to speech we participate if we get access and we follow frames as we discussed in previous modules and yanras used in speech events why do we follow yanras because they represent expectations of the readers and listeners and with these expectations they are able to understand what you say or what you write still we need to know structure of conversation why because conversation is a forum of power a forum for struggle for what we have to snatch time floor floor for our voice be heard and give feedback to the speakers yes this term is used most commonly in parliament you may have heard who is on floor who is talking currently whose turn is this so he holds the floor and for floor we have to compete you see in parliament parliamentarians again and again request the speaker i want to talk i want to talk give me the turn give me the floor so this is the reason to consider conversation very important and uh, we can understand this struggle for power this struggle for taking floor if we know the structure of the conversation we should know that certain conventions regulate conversation and these conventions and norms which we follow in conversations they are together called floor management because floor is the central idea in conversation floor management how it regulates conversation it regulates turn taking whose turn is this to talk and how many people can talk at a time one at a time definitely and people want interrupt or they are allowed to interrupt during one turn and uh, how much long there will be pause or there will be no pause there would be totally silence because interruption and silence they have very important mean meaning in conversation if uh, you are not allowed for example to interrupt the speaker it means speaker is very powerful and sometimes if you are allowed to interrupt so it means you are showing the speaker that you are listening to that person you are showing your agreement you are showing your approval or appreciation so same thing is being given different meaning same is the case with silence sometimes it shows that you are embarrassed that's why you are silent you are speechless you can't say anything you don't have any opinion or you don't know something what to say so many meanings are also given to silence these meanings are also based on gender how to get it and how these meanings are gender based we will talk about this shortly let's further see the conventions and structures how to get a turn and hold it first of all 
you compete for it after that you hold it and then you give it to the next speaker who will be heard and who won't be heard so these are the things which constitute together the structure of the convention of conversation for example in press conferences in parliamentary debates as i have given you example earlier you see how people compete for turn taking from these conventions a structure of talk is derived we have already seen this structure it centrally this structure is woven around turn taking turn taking is the central activity that hangs it together that hangs the conversational structure together that hooks it there is start of turn then transition point this is the point where one leaves his her turn and gives it to the next speaker then turn getting you get the turn then turn holding speakers and listeners both they give cues to each other and these cues are called back channeling they give feedback back channeling back channeling you for example you do it verbally sometimes sometimes by gestures your facial expressions your smile your uh, surprise your knit uh, your uh, 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 so you, uh, your uh, for example your uh, yeah absolutely and uh, uh, don't tell me so these are your back channel you are well aware of these things it sends a cue to the a signal a hint to the speaker what kind of cues your back channeling shows that people are attentive to you they are interested in your talk or they are in agreement with you these conventions are required these conventions which are required to manage construct uh, the conversation they are acquired at home and school they are part of our socialization our parents tell us our teachers tell us that when a person talks listen to that person don't interrupt then similarly when you talk with your elders you won't interrupt them when you will remain silent when you will talk all these things are told by our elders during our childhood and school days the study of these conventions and related moves in conversation moves means the stages of conversation turn taking etc their study is called conversation analysis this is a sub discipline of discourse analysis it helps to know how gender shapes everyday talk now we conclude that our talk becomes discourse because in the beginning of some module we said that a person has communicative competence if he she has access and then right to speak and then his talk is spread becomes everyday discourse it gets force because people uh, take it important so if we want to make our talk discourse we want that uh, our talk get hold and uh, is considered important by people so we need to follow we need to know the structure of conversation